Well, because here's the thing, right? So, for example, in sales, for example, a, a really core principle is in, in a typical sales training or like in, in business, like let's say your client acquisition, for example, right? If you get a no, it's actually a good thing because it brings you closer to your next client acquisition or your next sale. Does it make sense? Let's say, for example, you're doing door-to-door sales, right? So a lot of companies, they can actually track and measure the data. So if you're doing door-to-door sales and you know if you knock on 10 houses, one is going to say yes, right? So then let's say you, you, know, you did uh, over a long period of time, you know your average close rate. Let's say, for example, it's like knock on 10 doors, one's going to say yes. But let's say you knocked on... 20 doors, every single one of them said no. At least now you know, on average, those 20 is gonna lead to, to uh, essentially two sales on average over a long period of time. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so it's kind of similar with game, right? You know that every single fucking girl you talk to is eventually gonna lead you to the girl, the next girl you're gonna end up hooking up with, especially because of social momentum. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's very important that you take action. Because if a girl says no, you don't take it personally. If you have a freedom from outcome, say it would be freedom from outcome, and you genuinely don't give a flying fuck how the girl responds, but you just put your best self out there in a conceptual, respectful way and not being creepy, you're gonna get really good results, okay? So you're able to just be open and bantery and flirty with a girl without judging yourself and without caring about her reaction, whether it's good or bad, it's really key. So the whole point of the four-pillar communication yesterday isn't to get a reaction on the girl, okay? It's just to get feedback from, the, from whoever you're talking to, right? Because if a girl's ignoring you, it has nothing to do with the girl. It, it's about your communication. It's, were you talking loud enough? Were you smiling when you talked to her? Were you making eye contact when you were talking to her? Was your voice loud enough? Was your bondage good enough so she recognized you're talking to her? Because whether she says, oh, thank, like you say, I like your outfit, and she says, thank you, or you say, oh, hi, nice to meet you, and she tells you, fuck off. As long as she's giving you feedback, then you know you're communicating effectively. Does that make sense? So it's really, so really that's what I was teaching you guys yesterday is just effective communication, right? Did you guys notice that a lot at first you guys were getting ignored? Notice that a little bit? And then towards the end of the day, pretty much every single person you talk to would at least stop and, you know, say thank you or whatever, or like stop for a second. Isn't that so interesting how that works? So you know how to do a cold approach effectively. And you actually realize rejection isn't even real. Rejection, all it is is a mismatch of communication or a mismatch of objectives. Does that make sense? Or mismatch of logistics. Isn't that so crazy? So rejection isn't real, so there's literally nothing to be fear- fearful of, right? And so in the same way, like, if you walk up to a girl in the club and she's, like, not interested, cool, no worries. All the best, have a great night. Walk up to the next girl, she might fucking love you, right? I mean, we're getting down the mall. I'll, I'll walk down to the street talking to a girl. You know, she stops, she's in a rush, whatever. Okay, no worries, whatever. Like, see you around. Maybe we should get her Instagram. The next girl's, like, super into it. Does that make sense? So imagine this. You approach 10 girls. None of them tell you to fuck off, but one of them wants to fuck you. Like, imagine you go out a night game and 10 girls in a row tell you, fuck off, like, to your face, like, fuck you. But then the 10th girl, like, sucks your dick in the bathroom. Would you not say that was a really successful night? Yes. Then imagine doing that every single night. Imagine doing that. I have a buddy. His name's Bradicus. This dude would, like, literally get rejected, like, literally 80 times a night. But he's got some of the best game I've ever seen in the entire world. And he's fucked, like, a thousand jigs. Like, he'll go out to the club and he'll just, like, boom, 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 reject, reject, reject. Like, you'll never, dude, it's like zero soul circuit game at all because like he'll come to a party and everyone's just like who the fuck is this weirdo right but then he'll just meet one girl who's just like oh wow this guy's so confident and then she'll and i'm fucking him does it make sense yeah. and it's like whoa this fucking guy got laid he'll do it in day game he's just like walking to like he'll, he'll get like drunk in the fucking grocery store hit on every girl and everyone's like who the fuck is this guy right but then like he ends up like pulling from the grocery store at the end of the day isn't that kind of ridiculous so i'm not necessarily saying to do that because there's like levels of social nuance and social competence, right? But uh, I mean, a guy who can do that, I mean, definitely can get laid consistently as well, right? And, so, and you can have like, you could also develop the social articulation to not get rejected as well. Do you know that? You know what I'm saying? Trust me when I say this, guys, like, you're not gonna realize this until at the end of the boot camp. but like yesterday would it, will be like a year cut off your learning curve, like towards the end of the program. Because my first year doing fucking cold approach, dude, I don't, I hooked up like fucking, one girl, <laughs> you know what I mean? My first year, my first three years, I've only been like a dozen girls, right? I can do that in a weekend now. Do you guys understand that? The results that used to take me three years to get, I can literally do in three days. Do you understand? This is how it works, okay? So we're gonna start getting results later, but you gotta pay attention to the fundamentals and hammer them and do it effectively, do it really, really well. Okay, make sure to do it really, really well. You took a lot of action yesterday, so I was really impressed with that, okay? 
So yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of uh, anxiety from you two specifically yesterday. Like, just try not to get nervous, bro. There's nothing to be nervous about, right? It's exposure therapy. Like, get out, like, just get out of your comfort zone. I like that you guys are making friends with guys. Because, did you notice that lower your anxiety? Yeah. Right? It, well, isn't it so weird? When you see tall, bigger dudes, immediately, subconsciously, your brain just, like, doesn't want to approach girls. Because it's like, you're feeling anxious. You're like, well, what if these guys try to fight me? What if it's, this is one of their girls or some shit, right? Does that make sense? But if you go make friends with these guys... And like these guys were like fucking nerds, bro. Like I'm talking to these guys, I'm like this guy's like talking to me, he's like spitting my like splitting everywhere, and I'm like, ugh, peasant energy, you know what I mean? But the whole point was like, after talking to these guys in the venue, your anxiety goes away, right? So if you're having trouble talking to girls, just go around and make friends with guys in the club, right? And then it'll give you more confidence, and you go make friends with girls after. Make sense? The thing is, when you come off like uh, what's called the dancing monkey or like the clown, be like, <laughs> like the girls are just gonna like fucking tell you to fuck off. Right, because you're being unauthentic, right? They, they feel that lack of authenticity, okay? And girls don't like that shit, dude. They want you to be a fucking man. They want you to communicate as a authentic man talking to a woman. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. And so, you know, I didn't have the fucking problem at all, okay? And then next thing you know, we have like a bunch of girls just surrounding us, right? And they're just kind of staying in our area because they, it's almost like this, I don't know how to describe it. They just feel comfortable in, in that type of vibe. You know what I mean? Because they feel the vibes of the girls. They feel like we're relaxed. We're not like aggressively hitting on them. Do you, do you notice like, does it even come off like I'm hitting on girls when I talk to them? Not really, right? It just comes off very chill. But it's not, it's not like, I'm not being like friend zoning. Fr friend, I'm not friend zoning myself. I'm being friendly, but I'm not friend zoning myself. It's like I'm a man talking to a woman, but I'm not hitting on her. Does that make sense? Because it's already assumed. You guys all watch Natural Transformations, right? I mean, what happens if you put two hamsters in a cage? Right? Over a long enough period of time, put two hamsters in a cage, they're gonna fuck. So you don't need to hit on these girls. You just need to build comfort with them. You just need to make sure they feel comfortable with them, with each other. You, you gotta make yourself feel comfortable around her. But here's the thing, if you're not feeling comfortable with yourself, like, get his arms across right now, right? Is that, is that um, self-protection body language? Or is it like self-esteem body language? Right, he's going into like protection, like ugh, ugh, right? Instead of like giving and like being open, right? Uncross your fucking arms. Dude, it, it, like, what do you mean you fell? Like, are, be real oh, with you. Are you are you so fucking rationalizing me right now? Are you so are you just further trying to rationalize? Do your arms work? Can you move your arms? I can move back. Okay, then you shouldn't have any reason to be crossing your arms. Okay, it's because it's bad body language, bad posture. Okay, bad posture. It's very poor posture. Do you understand that your physiology affects your psychology? So when I tell you to walk up to girls and have, dude, I don't give a fuck if your hands are fucking bleeding. Seriously. I don't give a fuck if it's the middle of winter and you're freezing your fucking ass off. If your hands are in your pockets, girls are gonna tell you to fuck off. Do you understand? Because it's bad body language. Do you understand how this works? Yeah. Okay? Very logically. If you walk up to a girl and you're like, <laughs> hey, first you walk up and you're like, hey, how's it going? What, what's better communication? The second one, right? Does it make sense? You gotta actually have good communication all the fucking time. Imagine you guys rocked up yesterday, and I'm like, hey guys, it's me, Justin Mark. I'm gonna coach you guys with uh, pickup. Like, you'd be like, what the fuck have I signed up for, right? No, seriously. But that's what you're fucking doing. That's exactly what you're fucking doing. So you walk up to a chick, and you're like, or, or you walk up to a girl, and you're like, you do this thing where you're like, you freeze. It's like fight, flight, or freeze, right? You're freezing, right? Right, that's exactly what you're doing. You're freezing, and you're like coming up like really tense. The girls can feel that. How do you think the girls feel? They do the exact same fucking thing. They're gonna feel nervous around you. Like, you, you, have, you flinch, they flinch, right? You touch your face, they're gonna be like, oh fuck, because you're feeling insecure with yourself. Touch your face, that, that's exactly what that is, right? That's what's going through. Again, body language is reading people's fucking minds, okay? If someone's like touching their face, what are they thinking? What's going on through their head? They're feeling insecure with, with themselves in that moment. Could be how they look, could be how the people are perceiving them. Does that make sense? Someone's touching their face, that's what it is. Someone, this is like, essentially, don't look at me. This is like, essentially like self-protection. Like, I don't feel good. Does it make sense? Like, what do you, when are you gonna typically do this? When you're feeling sick? So if you walk up to a fucking chick and you're like doing this, what's she gonna feel? She can feel like not talking to you. By default. Why? What's the reason? She knows you don't have any confidence. It's because people feel what you feel. Do you understand? Say it with me, people feel what you feel. So if you walk up to a girl and you tense up, you're like, <clears throat> what happens? 
she tenses up. If you walk up to a girl and you're like, hey, how's it going? What's she feeling? No, but the way you were doing it yesterday oh, yeah. was incorrect because you're like walking up to girls like very nervous, like very quickly talking like woo, like up. And, and what you're talking about the upwards inflection instead of a down talk. So then, hey, nice to meet you. How's it going? Like yesterday, uh, the same girls that pretty much told you fuck off. I walked up. I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? Justin, nice to meet you. Right? I'm super chill about it. I'm like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. Like, there's, what is there to reject? Like, you know what I mean? If they were like, oh, I have a boyfriend, I'd be like, you're fucking weirdo. <laughs> like, I'd be like, you're, you're, you're retarded. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? But if you walk, you're doing this like thing, you're dancing in front of them, like it, it's almost essentially what you're doing was trying for a pour in your body language. Does that make sense? Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert, and VIP lifestyle development coach. I've been teaching dating, soul skills, and day game for 10 years in 50 plus countries, six continents, so thousands of guys in person just like you. And I love teaching guys this stuff. So if you like this video, please make sure to do me a favor and leave a thumbs up on this video. I really do appreciate that. Now, if you want to follow me more closely, you can go ahead and follow me on my new Instagram, DrunkJustin2, and watch my daily Instagram stories where I'm always partnering with hot girls, doing exclusive events, crazy, crazy shit on my daily Instagram stories. Make sure to follow me there. You can see me traveling around the world in real time, doing amazing things, and teaching guys like you in person every day on my Instagram. And you can message me on my Instagram as well. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and message me there. And if you want to actually call me, you can call me at justinmark.com. We'll do free consultation calls. You can actually call me and we'll do a free discovery call where we can get you on the right action plan to change your dating life and your social life at justinmark.com. And if you guys want to dig deeper and watch more of our more exclusive content, go to wingmanpodcast.com and watch our Wingman podcast on Spotify, Apple, and all platforms. And we'll see you guys very soon in a new video. My name is Justin Mark, and I'll talk to you very soon. 